and what's up beautiful people it's your tooth doctor Maureen Mora here welcome back again to my youtube channel all we do is talk much as oral health and it's simply because i do believe everybody is entitled to good oral health status and guys today is yet another good day that we get to learn something new with your tooth doctor and uh, today majorly i'm focusing on teeth replacement this is normally a dental procedure that is aimed at restoring the mouth to a better functional state or making it aesthetically appealing. By aesthetically appealing, I mean uneza smile vizuri, uneza kwa na confidence ukiongea and such like stuff. So you are here, you visited your dentist, your examination is done, and then boom, you are told you need to lose a tooth because basically it is beyond repair or rather you've lost a tooth in one way or another what do you do now so here are four options for you to consider from the least expensive to the most expensive number one if you have a missing tooth and you feel like it's not bothering you in any way or it is at the back far end eh? For instance, you've lost a tooth uh, at this area, from this area you're going back, and you feel like uh, it's unnoticeable. Or if you have lost this tooth down here, and the upper one as well, the opposing upper tooth as well, then you might decide to leave those spaces like that without doing any treatment. However, for me, as uh, your tooth doctor, I will tell you for free, it is not the best way to go about it, especially considering that you have this other adjacent tooth. For instance, if you've lost this tooth and you've lost the upper one as well, Eitoki, Ningewanyasha, but then assuming you've lost this tooth here and you've lost the opposing tooth as well. The reason as to why it is not important for you to ignore as much as it at the back end is because you are not being considerate of these other um, uh, these other opposite teeth as well because you might be exposing them to drifting towards this area where you've lost a tooth. It is an option, but then it is not an option. The second one is we can advise you to get dentures. For dentures, we can classify it into two. We have the partial dentures, and uh, this is whereby maybe umepoteza menomoza but you still have other existing teeth also we can get a complete denture complete denture is when you've lost all your teeth and then a plate is put on your mouth containing a new set of teeth fixed well not to hurt the gums another option you have is getting a crown and bridge it comes with its own disadvantages when i say a crown and a bridge is that assuming you are missing this tooth here Oh, and I've lost it for real. Assuming you have, you've lost this tooth right here, so we are remaining with this tooth and this tooth. These uh, opposing tooth are usually, um, these are just in tooth. We normally drill them a little bit, and this other one, to replace the amount of ile crown to work a hapo. You see, that being said, if you are considering doing a crown and bridge, one disadvantage is, it entails the removal of healthy, um, the drilling of healthy teeth, which could have otherwise been left untouched. These supporting tooth structures with the time develop issues. Then we will have to remove the entire crowning and redo it afresh. Basically, it entails the removal of the surrounding tooth, which is otherwise unhealthy tooth that maybe did not need any drilling and our fourth option to consider is dental implants here it is a standalone crown which does not entail disturbing um, any adjacent tooth and currently it is the most recommended mode of permanent replacement by most dentists it entails putting a screw through your bone there's a way that a qualified dental practitioner does it. And then after the bone has fully healed, then a crown, um, um, implant crown, is 
put on the tooth. So as much as dental implants are the best options for you to consider, please don't get me wrong. Not everybody is eligible to dental implants. Number one we have, if your bone level is not supportive enough, and this one can be evident from a radiograph that your dentist might advise you to get done, or if you have some underlying health conditions, especially those that affect the bone, and um, if the material being used is with, if the material used to make these dental implants is not biocompatible with your body. So I hope you've learned something. If you are missing a tooth, you have four options to consider. You can choose Kukabila, ku replacement, you can decide to get the dentures, you can choose to get a crown and bridge or a dental implant, all depending with your financial capabilities. Thank you so much for staying tuned and um, looking forward to see you in my next video. Bye bye.